In this video, we're going to look at an example of rewriting a double integral using polar coordinates. So let's say we have we want to do the double integral over d of x dA, where d is the region in between the circles x squared plus y squared equals 1 and x squared plus y squared equals 2. Notice that if I tried to integrate this with respect to uh, uh, y first holding x constant, I've got top and bottom curves here are different than they are here. So I'd have to express the double integral as two separate integrals. Likewise, if I hold my x con excuse me, hold my y constant and integrate with respect to x first, I've got different uh, left and right bounding curves here than I do here. Again, I'd have to express it as two integrals. Furthermore, notice that these bounding curves were going to be in terms of square roots, which makes things a little bit more difficult perhaps when we're doing our integrals, especially that second integral when we plug in our endpoints, could make it a little bit more difficult. However, this region is very, very easily expressed in polar. Our radius goes from 1 to root 2. Our theta goes from 0 to pi over 2. That's it. This is what's referred to as a polar rectangle in polar coordinates. Very, very easily described because our bounds are constants for both the r's and the thetas. All right, so converting this to polar then, uh, I also need to convert my x to polar. Well, that was one of our conversion formulas is just r cosine theta for x. And then dA gets replaced with r dr d theta. And now I've converted this to polar where my r's go from 1 to root 2 and my thetas go from 0 to pi over 2. I now notice I can split this into two integrals that we can just multiply together because my integrand is product of function of r and function of theta and my region has no variables in it. They're constants limits of integration for both the r and the theta so I can just break it into two pieces except that there should not be a cosine theta in this piece. This should just be r squared. No, This is a typo. This cosine theta here is not does not belong here. The cosine of theta does belong over here. This should not be in here. And this cosine of theta should not be in here. All right, my apologies for that. So this is a typo. Just if you're writing this down, just delete that and delete that out of the notes. <laughs> okay, this should just be r squared dr and then cosine theta d theta over here. Antiderivative for cosine is just sine. Plug in zero to pi over two, we can just get one for that integral. Over here, antiderivative for r squared is one third r cubed. We plug in root two and plug in one, we'll get two root two minus one all over three.